Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Aether SX2, Yuzu, and Artemis Emulator. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PS2 emulation on Android with Aether SX2. Aether SX2 keeps getting better and better. It's almost like Goku with infinite transformations here. The performance of this emulator is insanely good. In certain situations here, the overall performance of Aether SX2 is closing in on the PC PS2 emulator, PCSX2. And even talking about Android and PC emulation and comparing them in the same sentence, that is pretty amazing, it's impressive. So this is a direct quote from the official Aether SX2 Patreon page, which I will link in the description below. For those who think that Aether SX2 is slow and needs lots of optimization, we did some benchmarks with these changes in EEVU bottlenecked games, finding that depending on the game, a Snapdragon 870 is within 20% of the performance of a 3900X desktop. Some games are even almost on par, for example Tekken Tag. If you are not impressed with this, I really don't know what to say here. And Talroth goes on to say, but the 3900X has a 33% clock speed advantage, very true, and faster memory, etc. So we shouldn't make direct comparisons. And then Talroth goes a little bit further. But if you normalize for clock speeds alone, that means that the ARM64 recompilers in Aether SX2 are actually more efficient 1.5 times than the x86 recompiler. This makes sense as we have a bunch of optimizations in ARM64 not present on x86, which is the PC emulator. Once 32-bit support is dropped upstream, we're planning on implementing that in x86 as well. So it looks like here Aether SX2 is helping out PCSX2, which is incredible. I'm even more blown away that Aether SX2 does keep getting better and better. And if you're struggling to run Aether SX2, if you're running into some massive performance issues, that might be more of a hardware limitation of your device as opposed to the coding of this emulator. But that's not stopping Talrith. I mentioned this briefly in yesterday's video, but Talrith is still working on some performance enhancements that haven't been released at all just yet. And it looks like, provided all things go well here, 5-10% to performance improvements across the board for the Snapdragon 870, and 15% improvements on a slower Cortex A73 chip. If Aether SX2 isn't running well on your device, I can completely understand the frustration. Talrith is trying his best to make it work better on lower end devices, but at the same time here, if you want to compare phones to cars, a lower end device would kind of be like a Prius, and it's not really going to hold up well in a race against a bunch of Porsches and Lamborghinis and whatnot. Yes, Talworth can try to make the track more driver friendly to try to even out the competition and make things a little bit easier for the Prius, but at the same time here, it just doesn't have the horsepower to compete. Moving on now, and we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. Yuzu is also another emulator that's being updated quite frequently. Just yesterday, we talked about the most recent update to the mainline version, which was version 9.32. And today, one day later, they're on version 937. So all you have to do to update Yuzu here is just open it and it should be updated to 937. Or you can just visit the website and pick up the latest version. Version 937 here fixes a regression where Super Mario Party was no longer booting. Super Mario Party should be fully playable again. Last up here, we're talking about something I didn't think we'd ever have to talk about again, and that is Artemis Emulator. Artemis Emulator is a fake PS3 emulator supposedly for Android. They keep posting videos on a daily basis, and this channel is growing, and a lot of people are truly believing that it's real. So I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Nothing has really changed here. Artemis Emulator is not real. It's 100% fake. I don't know what else to say. If you don't want to believe me, if you firmly want to believe it's real, by all means, go on ahead. Will you be let down? Absolutely yes, but that's on you. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today, whether it's the unbelievable performance of Aether SX2, 
the crazy amount of updates for Yuzu, or I guess even Artemis Emulator. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.